We believe the world and know its certainty by physically seeing and experiencing our world around us. We believe our world follows some absolute laws. For instance, like when we drop an apple, it will fall to the ground because of the laws of gravity. Seeing our physical world, we infer that everything within the physical world has order and rules that obey without question. So when we go down into the atomic level, we see that these laws does follow through at least on the surface level. However, when we look closer, we find that all these observable laws that we believed in and hold concrete are essentially thrown out. And this and this is where we enter the bizarre world of quantum physics. The very famous double slit experiment displays the observer effect in plain sight and has left many physicists completely perplexed. This experiment shows how a particle can behave both as a wave and a particular particle. The wave was represented when the scientists expected to see two shadows captured after photon particles were projected through two slits. But instead of seeing two shadows for the capture, what was observed was a wave of particles collected at the back screen, known as the interference pattern. This really confused physicists, as instead of behaving like normal particles, the particles ended up behaving like a wave, representing all the possible possibilities of the particles at any given time. But when the scientists tried to observe the phenomenon closely, the behavior of the particles were no longer like that of a wave, but again, they started behaving like a particle. So the mere observation made the particles behave in a linear way or in just one particular way as opposed to multiple possibilities. Meaning, for matter to exist in one particular way, the observer needs to actively observe to make reality exist the way it does. To further clarify the impact of quantum mechanics in the field of physics, we have to understand that quantum mechanics has single-handedly ended the Newtonian and Einsteinian worldview of determinism. It has also brought into question the position of positivism, which suggests we can acquire knowledge through strict scientific observation alone and keep out metaphysics and theism. Now this phenomena of a conscious observer became the central aspect of material existence. There was no way of explaining it away with formal logic and common sense. This is why in the world of quantum mechanics, the laws of reality become ghostly and obscure. It directly points towards the presence of an omnipresence element. This is because for everything to exist and for multiple possibilities to collapse to one possible reality, you need the observer effect. For everything that we know that exists in the universe, from the tiniest of atoms in inside a small plant to the largest and vast galaxies, and even for the Big Bang to occur, the observer effect is absolutely necessary. So therefore, there is a grand observer who allows for the possibility of one possible reality to exist amongst multiple possibilities of reality by simply by observing. Now, many physicists try to explain away the simple notion of the omnipresence with the concept of the multiverse theory which cannot be verified objectively, 
but only mathematically defined. Understandably, the notion of bringing God and religion into the realm of science makes many uncomfortable. But the truth does not care about our fears and our rationale for our views. The truth is the truth, and ironically, one of the 99 names of God in the Islamic tradition is Al-Haq, the, the truth, the, truth, truth, the absolute. absolute. In the divine decree found in the Islamic scriptures, nothing is left to probabilities. The whole creation is a subject of kun, kun faya kun. Kun. Be, be and it, and it is. is. In relation to the discussion of the conscious observer, Allah says, Allah, him from whom nothing is hidden, neither on earth or in the heavens. Surah Al-Imran, verse 5. To further illustrate this notion of the conscious observer, let's look at the story of Prophet Musa. Musa salam, was approached by some people and they asked him, does Allah sleep? So Prophet Musa was unable to answer them at the moment. So what happened was two angels came to Prophet Musa after he had a long day of da'wah and they gave him two bottles. They said to Prophet Musa, tonight you have to stand all night and hold these bottles like that with his arms up. You should not let them off or let them go. So Prophet Musa takes the bottles and holds them. And we, as we all know, Prophet Musa وسلم, was a very strong man, stronger than the normal man. The first part of the night goes, and goes by and he started getting tired. His eyelid starts getting heavy and he's getting weak. He's exhausted and he wants to sleep. The second part of the night comes and they're getting heavier. Prophet Musa وسلم, falls asleep and everything falls down. The glass bottles comes crashing down. So the angels come back to Prophet Musa وسلم, and say, O Musa, if Allah was to sleep just even for a second, even for a moment, the heavens would come crashing to the earth like these glass bottles smashed into the floor. This is the greatness of Allah, the one who never sleeps. His kursi extends over the heavens and the earth, and he feels no fatigue in guarding them and preserving them. And he is the most high, the most great, Ayatul Kursi.